I've never been to a fencing match before. No. Did you like it? Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> You're really good at it. I've had a lot of practice. <laughs> oh, you caused quite a stir. I mean, we've been here a month and everyone's talking about you. Oh, really? Oh, I mean, all the girls in Psych 101 were fawning over the dashing new Theta Beta Tau brother. <laughs> and the boys are pretending not to care. <laughs> I mean, my roommate couldn't believe I was going out with you tonight. She said, not the Arthur Pendragon. He's a legend. And what did you say? Oh, legends are mysteries. You can't trust mysteries. Well, do you trust me? I want to. <laughs> you will. Now when people talk, we'll talk about both of us. Love is a trick played on us by the forces of evolution. Pleasure is a bait laid down by the saint. You want to make this personal? Perfect. I think. In the end, there is only power. In the end, only might is right. It's insane. Yeah, like crazy insane. Holy Madonna, I am shocked. Flabbergasted, really. Student stabbed in fencing match gone wrong? I can't believe it. Oh, I don't believe it. How could Gwen do that to him? And with his best friend? I mean, we don't know what it was like for her. This is like the gladiator battle of the semester. Oh, probably the whole year. Well, there was. No, that was BA. You're right, that was mm -hmm. BA before Arthur. That poor girl. It says no vital organs were punctured. And she's going to be fine, but goodness, what a trauma. She broke his heart. I would never do that to him. I really hope she's okay. We're all thinking of Gwen. Oh, such a sweetheart. It's a miracle she survived. I heard he almost decapitated her. <gasps> what? I haven't seen Arthur in class. There must be some sort of explanation for all of this. Ditch town. Rode off in the sunset. I think he's just waiting to see his girl. Oh, well, it just can't be that. She's not his girl anymore. <laughs> Round table tonight. They need you. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. I, um... We... Everything's really gone to shit, hasn't it? Yeah. Not for them, though. You don't get it, do you? Look, man, I'm sorry. You're my best friend, and I'll never forgive myself for losing you. But there are things that are bigger than this, than us. You don't have the luxury to dwell on it. Our brothers at TBT, no matter what you do, to them, you'll always be king.
So, what are things going to be like now, without Arthur? And Lance. What do you think really happened that night? What's that supposed to mean? Uh, maybe not everyone's telling the truth. Like who? Like Arthur? Okay, shut up! truth. I made you believe that there was a shot at making things right again, at finding the grail. It's useless. Tomorrow I go on trial with the others and we are no closer to finding the grail than when we started. The grail is gone. We have to leave it behind. Arthur, you can't give up. <laughs> hey! Where are you going? Toast to Arthur, our new Theta Beta Tau president and fearless leader. To the once and future king. To the once and future king. Nothing really left to toast to, is there? There's always something. To something. Oh, I almost forgot. I got a letter from the dean. Withholding evidence, fraternizing with known suspects. Kind of an odd way to woo me, I've gotta say. Did you know? Hmm? Gwen and Lance, did you know? You lost your shit, dude. You know I don't like it when people lose it. You knew. You didn't deserve her. You're right. I didn't. I don't. When people reach perfection, they vanish. You know? Morgan told me the same thing. <laughs> Look at you, man. I can see right through you. You're already starting to disappear. Come in. <clears throat> Thanks for seeing me. Arthur, I don't know how to begin. I'm so No. So I'm sorry. You know, my father used to tell me love is a trick played on us by the forces of evolution. <laughs> what does he know anyway? He never loved anyone. Not Morgan, not me. Certainly not mom. He was always too busy being a leader, a king. There was always time for Camelot, never time for me. I know the feeling. Please don't. I just want to make things right. No, you're not making things right, you're making them complicated. If Lance makes you happy, that... Oh my god. I'm being serious. Well, so am I. I mean, this is why... You're an incredible man. A force of nature. 
and there is so much that I respect and admire about you. But I don't need your permission or Lance's to be happy. No. I will not be handed over from man to man like, like some sort of prize. I'm not yours to give away, and I'm not Lance's to be won. I'm mine. I, I still love you. I don't want to lose you too. I can't. I'm already gone. Okay, dudes, don't waste our time. We need to hear some good news. Proceed. So, we followed that lead to the Delta Row House. And the chick's like, look at this body. Crazy stupid fine, right? No, duh, you're crazy stupid fine. But I'm on a mission and I gotta keep things profesh. You know what I'm saying? Tell me about the night it all went down. Things got freaky and the dude accidentally turned off the lights. Big deal. So we do some snooping and meet Nee, who's a paralegal at Silurian Sons. Silurian Sons? That's where my father's will was processed. We know! Turns out Nee has a thing for shrubbery. Expensive quality shrubbery, if you know what I mean. So Nee is all like, Oh, I hate my job. I have to do a lot of backbreaking work, like getting coffee and running errands, doing these little tasks, et cetera, et cetera. Ooh, do tell. Like, what sort of errands? I don't know, like opening safety deposit boxes to get dead people's bling. And guess what he found? One of those. Okay, so Luther really wanted you to have a replacement? Or there's a cousin who wanted a ring? No. Each pen dragon passes rings down to their children. It's a tradition. What are you saying? If there's a third ring, there's a third pen dragon. 